Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys to another episode of our Let's Play series. Is today the day I walked into a creeper? No, we're good. <laughs> Sometimes a creeper can spawn on this bridge and it's a, it's a little risky walking like that actually. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. We have a couple things to check out here to begin with in our episode. Uh, starting with the musical mushroom farm here. So. I think it was two episodes ago we made this musical note block sequence thing. Time lapse from the fat rat. We we got it set up here. Except I didn't actually hook up the redstone to it until today. <laughs> so I replaced all the bud switches we had here with observer blocks. And they just have a wire uh, connecting them all together on both sides. Runs down to the note blocks there. So if we grow a mushroom, let's try this out. It worked before, hopefully it does now. Aha! <laughs> so, it's working pretty good, I would say. Uh-huh. And they work separate from each other, so even though this observer block was triggered, it uh, still played the song this after we grew the second mushroom, so they didn't like cancel each other out, and if we remove the mushroom block here, in here it, it untriggers. It doesn't play the song when you remove it, though. Otherwise, it'd be too much music. A little bit of music is good, but too much, no bueno. <laughs> All right, so that's that. I think this farm is complete now. I'm willing to say this is done. It's a finished project, so I'm happy about that. Uh, the other thing we did, I think, last episode was we worked on... <laughs> we worked on the mushroom forest thing, right? Uh, I ran a little low on time, wasn't able to finish uh, too much of it, so I went back and I built a couple more mushrooms. So let's take a look from a distance here first. So we got three, three of the big mushrooms built there now. I ran out of the red blocks, though, the nether wart blocks, fairly quickly here. And also you guys suggested I should bulk up the caps on this thing. They were... I think two blocks tall and they had a flat top. Now they look a little bit more rounded, except for the the big caps on the top could use a bit more um, nether wart blocks, possibly. They're a little bit small looking, maybe. But overall, I'm pretty happy with these. Would like to add a lot more of them. Somebody suggested doing little mini mushrooms like this, too. I think this is cool. <laughs> Have uh, little patches of them around the place would look neat. Oh. Ah, so close. Whoa! We're fine. There's our other dog. Don't worry. I'm a very good driver. Okay, we got ourselves a non-tamed dog. He shouldn't teleport. We have the llamas hidden away, so they're not going to come kill him. <laughs> and we have the stairs in our water stream thing instead of slabs. So we just got to watch this guy. Really hope he doesn't die because then I don't know what to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I made a mistake right away here. Um, um, come this way. Come this way. Yeah, okay, this isn't going to work. <laughs> the spacing between the stair and the slab is not enough for him to fit through, I guess. What if I keep pushing you? I try not to kill you with my axe. Yeah, and then... You go in, you keep going in. He's in, he's in. Okay, so now we put this back. And now it's working like it should. Okay, so I replaced the slabs. <sighs> really? <laughs> you can't fit through that. Oh no, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. He can't fit between a slab, oh, a stair and a trap door. How chunky are you? Yes. Yes? <gasps> it works! Chest and trap door. <laughs> that is the answer. Oh man. I could have done a full block and a sign as well in retrospect now that I think of it. But I think having a chest there is a little bit smoother because it's a smaller block. Right? So he seems to be fine. We're going to let him do his thing. Let's go above ground, check out the llamas. Just think, guys, in a in like a few episodes from now, in the comments, people are going to be like, 
How did he make his llamas walk around the city like that? And I'm not going to tell him, and you're not going to tell them. I'll never show it in World Tour, and it'll be our little secret forever. <laughs> They'll never know. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, what was here? A stair? I don't even know. That's a lot of stairs in one spot. Yeah, I'll fix it later. That's my little catchphrase. I'll fix it later. <laughs> All right. Are they walking? They're walking. They are walking around the city. Yes. Now, I could have more wolves in that system, and each llama could have its own wolf, and they'll kind of walk independently. But just getting this one guy here was pretty tricky. But maybe eventually. I'll do it later. <laughs> uh, that could happen. Alright, very cool. So I'm happy with that. Seems to be working. He hasn't died. <laughs> That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to do a couple random building projects first off. And then we're going to experiment with a technical build I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, probably for the second half of this episode. That's desert grass, right? It looks a little bit... Uh, yeah, definitely desert. <laughs> uh, I'm going to replace these hay bales in here uh, because we got path blocks now. And I think they look a little bit better for animal pens than hay bales. They, they look like muck and poop and stuff, you know? So let's switch these over. Oh, you ate, you ate the grass block? Are you kidding me? All right, tell you what. Let's put dirt blocks in, too. <laughs> It'll look better. Good idea, sheep. All right, so that's a simple thing. I'm going to do something a little bit bigger now. I want to change out this wall a fair bit. I farmed up some acacia wood. I think we should try to add some more variety to this because it's very plain. Um, I thought about maybe using prismarine. I tried it. It looked pretty good, but I think we're going to go with acacia. <laughs> acacia wood throughout this wall. It's it's one of those hard calls. Like I could use prismarine, but because it's so colorful, a lot of you guys are not going to like it. This is like a neutral, safe choice. I think. Okay, from a distance here, prismarine versus acacia. I'm giving it a second chance. I want to show you guys what it could look like. Um, but it's one of those... Art is in the eye of the beholder things, right? <laughs> it sucks. I want a definitive one is better than the other, but I, I know it doesn't exist. Because one of you guys will love this and hate this. And one of you guys is going to love this and hate this. And I can't please everybody. Uh, I think more people in general would prefer that. But some people would strongly prefer that instead. This is more like a, a meh. And that's more like a... Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> reaction. Uh, maybe we can mix them. Maybe we can mix them, though. Would it look better if we put dark prismarine at the bottom here? No, I don't like that. What about the brick? Could that be a thing? The brick? I can't place blocks because I've played this game for seven years. <laughs> Aha, no. Don't like that either. What about... This would look better with brick, though, for sure. Because it works with it. Right? Yeah, I think so. That one's better with the brick on the bottom. Okay, so I found on a larger scale... Like, after I did a few of these, both the Acacia and Prismarine looked really bad. <laughs> and I tried a lot of other blocks, too. I tried, like, yellow clay, orange clay, red clay, um, orange sandstone. Nothing, I find very few things look good with sandstone. One of the things I do like is green clay with sandstone, and I like uh, the light gray clay uh, as well. looks pretty good with it. But uh, anyways, this is what it looks like all finished up here. It goes all around the city. And uh, keep in mind, we are supposed to put more buildings in here. We just have that one complex sort of thing. There's supposed to be a complex over there, one over there, one over here. 
And that will hide a lot more of this green. You won't see as much of it once once they're in. They'll block it, right? So, yeah. I think it's an improvement, personally. I know some of you are not going to like it. <laughs> but it adds color. It adds variation. And I don't think it looks super bad. Uh-huh. It's the best I could do, guys. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to go down to the man cave now. There is this little sliver of a problem that has shown up because I I worked on that roof for the tree farm or ceiling ceiling is the correct term uh, a few episodes ago we finished this up now we have this little three wide gap here between this part of the man cave and this part of the man cave we could leave it as stone wouldn't it be terrible but I think we'll do what we do in a lot of parts uh, where we put in these jungle leaves just to to give it that nice green feel, you know? <laughs> so let's try that out. And I think we are going to have to... How are we going to position this? I think we'll put green leaves there. Should we do staircase style? One there, one there. And we might even try to do a little bit of droopy leaf leafage. Could look good too. I'm going to change out a bunch of this and just see what it looks like, I think. So have it running all along here. And all along here. And maybe put some lights behind it too. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now with no lighting behind it. And now that's what it looks like with some hidden lighting. It's a little bit brighter. A little bit nicer, I think. You know what I just realized? This is odd number, right? You see it's three blocks there. This is odd number over here. And then, <laughs> ah, this should be three blocks wide here. It's two blocks wide. I, I've always been a great builder, guys. Always. Yep. That's going to bug me. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. What I'm going to do in a few places here is try add some oak planks as well, just to break up the total straightness of this. Uh, centered, of course. <laughs> Uh, so, this is the very center. Maybe we could try a few blocks out. Let's kind of make it do something like that. Maybe I should use some stairs. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. So, check it out. We, uh, we got a solution here, I think. I did try out the oak bracing, like the oak slabs and stairs, but it stood out so much. It really didn't look too good. It looked out of place. So, instead, I tried the droopy leaf idea. And I like this a lot personally. I think that's good. We have this very long straight section. And this breaks it up like it has all these height variations. You can't really tell now how straight this was before. <laughs> or still is. It's just kind of blocked by the leaves. Um, also, this part of the man cave is a lot less green than like over there. And this helps to add some more greenery to it. And nowhere else in the man cave have we done something like this. So it's unique. And I like that. I've tried to make every single part of this uh, man cave unique. Instead of like copying something I like over and over. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. One thing we might try here. Should we get into the walls of our, our tree farm here? I think we should try it. I had the idea of maybe doing a mural, right? Try to represent... Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Try to like do different landscapes and stuff in pixel arts. It's a little hard to explain. I think we should go three blocks deep though. Do I have any clay on me? I don't have any inventory space. Luckily I have some chests on me. I can just dump some of this off for right now. Yeah, I want to maybe use light blue clay for the sky. Where is my clay box? There it is. Whoa. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you do this ender chest shulker box trick like this, I highly recommend you keep more than one ender chest on you at all times because you'll put it down and you'll forget it somewhere. And then when you go for your stuff, it's like, oh, where did I leave that stupid thing? <laughs> if you have, like, several of them, you never have to worry about running out. And also, you always make sure you have room in your inventory for it when you go to pick it up again. All right, so there's going to be a foreground layer here, background, 
and then sky. Okay, let's uh, let's do it over here instead of over there because our our haste beacon doesn't reach that far. <laughs> uh, okay, so even just like that, just the blue clay, I don't think that looks too bad. I, I like that. I would be happy if the whole wall was that. I think I could get used to it, but we're gonna try add more to it, make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, so we want to do like landscapes. If we just use grass blocks to represent grass. It doesn't look good from the side, right? So we're going to use lime clay for grass and stuff. So this would be... <laughs> I don't know if this is going to look good either, guys. I'm just trying this. So we'll try it out. Then we'll make some changes and, and stuff until and we find something we like. But that would represent like totally flat grass right there. But we'll add things like hills in the background and stuff too. So maybe... In places, the terrain's a bit rougher. We'll make mountains and stuff. Um, maybe we'll make uh, a desert area, snowy areas. You know, uh, we can even add more to the foreground and stuff. And hopefully, that'll look cool. <laughs> add some clouds. Lots of little things like that will probably, hopefully, look neat. All right, looks like I threw some blocks against the wall. <laughs> okay, what about trees? Let's try trees. So let's say we we wanted to make a forest, right? We could put down some, some logs and then some leaves, make like a round tree or something. Actually, it won't get, look good if we put leaves on the side of it. We'll want to put it above the, the wood here. Maybe we'll do a three by three tree or something. How about that? That would look good, right? Sure. <laughs> and then we could have one in the background. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is a process, guys. It's not going to be perfect right away. Mm hmm. Well, you know what, guys? I had my doubts at first. I wasn't sure this was going to really work. But I think this looks pretty cool, honestly. I think that's pretty unique. I'm happy with that. The only thing that like gave me a lot of trouble was this house. I tried to make a house, like just your standard derpy villager house or whatever, <laughs> and struggled a little bit with it, but I don't know. Like I tried putting wool in there and all kinds of things. This is probably the best I can do. Um, but yeah, I think that's neat. I actually checked and everything is like mob proof right now. Like the lighting is okay as it is. And... Uh, we might continue here and build like a desert themed area, maybe a forest or cold um, snow and stuff kind of area, glaciers. It's really easy to do this too. I was surprised. <laughs> like you don't need to do much, just a couple blocks here and there and it makes a huge difference. Uh, I wanted to try with you guys. I had an idea of how you could maybe do a lake. So water should flow towards the hole, right? We're going to put some lighting, hidden lighting here, like so. And then if we put water right here, it should flow towards that hole. Oh, did that stupid Enderman? There was an Enderman walking around. I think he stole my sand block. <laughs> All right. Is this going to look like a lake? Question. Let's take a step back. Maybe, I think, or a river. Could that pass as a river? Maybe. I could see it. You know what would help to sell it, though, is if we put a boat in there. Let's try put a boat in. See if it'll stay in place or if we can even put it down. All right. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Water kind of pulls it in. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. It's a little strange, but I, I do really like this. I think it's cool. Let's look from a, a distance here. This is meant to be background, though. Like, we're going to have the trees growing in here, so you won't really see it too much. It doesn't need a lot of detail. But I'm happy with that so far. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for it or how it should be changed. Anyways, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I did spend a little longer building than I should have today. That doesn't leave us a lot of time for our technical build. We are going to try to get into it, though. I'm going to introduce it to you guys. 
You guys are going to give me your ideas of how to do it. I'm going to steal those, and then I'm going to make millions. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe you guys will help me out with this, and uh, we'll get something better out of it. Here's, here's what I want to do, though. So we have been using this furnace room here for a long time. It's been great. It's been wonderful. We have eight beautiful furni in this room. Um, and it's good for little projects and stuff, but some projects I've been doing lately, guys, oh, I don't know, like the zombie pigment farm the other day, I had to wait around probably half an hour to an hour because we used like 3,000 to 5,000 glass on that project, I'm sure. And eight furnaces <laughs> just don't cut it anymore when you're doing things on that level. And you don't want to just like stop an AFK for half an hour for your stuff to smelt. Like when I'm in a building mood, I want to build. So let's get out of here. Uh, we want to make a new smeltery, guys. Like a super duper crazy OP smeltery, hopefully. Um, for bigger projects. We'll still use that... Uh, Eight furnace room, I'm sure, if I just need one or two stacks of something. But uh, what I want to do is use 64 furnaces at least, the very minimum. And I want it to work where I can just put my stuff, as much or as little as I want, into a chest. Right? And then within seconds, have it show, shown up, smelted in another chest. Like seconds, I'm talking. Seconds. <laughs> if I put a stack of cobble in, it should be in here as stone in seconds. That's what I want. I want it to be able to use different types of fuel, hopefully, if we can pull that off. So if, if we can make it use planks, coal, lava buckets, all that stuff, and not waste fuel, that would be cool. But this is going to be a technical issue. Like, doing all I want is not going to be easy. And that's why this is going to be a fun build to try to figure out, too. Like, if you put a whole bunch of stuff in a chest, how do you deliver it to 64 different furnaces? That's kind of the challenge. And how do you get them out and bring it back quickly? Um, if we just use hoppers alone... Let's grab our redstone. At most, you can hook two hoppers up to a chest, right? You see it takes two items out at a time. That's not good enough. <laughs> we need faster, I think. So I think we can use hopper minecarts to get it out quicker and hopefully spread it. Uh, how how do we want this to work exactly? I'm not sure. I haven't like pre-built this or anything. But we can stack multiples within the same block and it should still pull out two. Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> I just learned something new. I did not know these were so fast. Has it always been like that? Okay, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, so one of the big problems we're probably going to have with this is how do we split the minecarts apart? Like, if they are all picking up items out of that chest... We don't want to just use one hopper minecart because it would take forever for it to go from over 64 furnaces, you know. Um, we only want it to deliver one item to each furnace as it goes by. Um, so we'd probably want to use at least four, maybe eight hopper minecarts to deliver the items. So this is possibly a way we could easily do four. Let's see if it'll pick up the items out of the chest. If we get it right up to that fence. I'm not sure. I haven't tried. It doesn't. Darn. <laughs> okay, what if we take that out? Uh, maybe there's another block. Let's try just a normal fence. They're a little bit thinner. We don't want it to like go on the block. Just like as far as it can without getting stuck. Should be able to go a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> now it still can't pick up out of the chest. Okay. Um, well, let's get rid of this. I think glass... Are glass panes thinner than fences? I can't even remember. Oh, too far. Yeah, it has to stay on the rail. Otherwise, this gets way more complicated. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to keep thinking of ideas here. And then we might... 
uh, build the super smell tree for our next episode. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, it might be a fun technical build for you guys, too, if you're looking for one. I don't know if I didn't... Oh, oh that was weird. It's got to be a graphical glitch, right? I think so. If we break that... <laughs> no, it's not actually there. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here for today. So here is the comment I picked out. It says, Hey, Etho, why don't you have old tutorials like your mob system and brewing in playlists? Also, is there a specific reason why you don't do more tutorials like them? So my playlists are a mess, as a lot of you know. That's high on my to-do list. I'm hoping, I've actually been planning to just sit down and spend a couple hours on them and hopefully sort out some of the problems such as that uh, the reason why I don't do more tutorials like them I why did I go there <laughs> it's like I can't talk while it's making music that was a terrible decision <laughs> can't go anywhere oh <gasps> where'd he go Oh no! What? He's gone! I didn't just kill him, did I? I thought that was a different creeper. I didn't switch to peaceful or anything. <laughs> I don't know! He's he's not there. He, that was a named creeper. And now he's gone. Unless he's wandering around somewhere. Um. Anyways, getting distracted. I don't do more tutorials because I'm not very good at tutorials, I find. There's a lot of other YouTubers that are much better at tutorial videos than me. Um, so, yeah. And also, every time I do, do a tutorial, um, it kind of takes away from my Let's Play series. Because I like to do new and crazy stuff in my Let's Play series. And then, like, do I make... Do I do a tutorial on it and just copy what I did in my Let's Play? Whenever I do that, people are like, I just saw you build this two days ago in your Let's Play series. Why are you making another video on it? <laughs> you know? So I kind of got discouraged from doing tutorials. Uh-huh. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.